These are the tokens which I have some affinity for, uh, and I've talked about on the show, and I've had the founders on the show and all that stuff. There are a million tokens on Pulse Chain. I wish you all the best of luck with your maddest of games. There's plenty of tokens that I don't, I don't cover, or I don't talk about that often, or whatever. I'm sure there's plenty of good projects I'm going to miss. I'm okay with that. I, I, I think I have enough projects that uh, I want to spend time and energy on. And uh, again, no offense to anyone out there. It's just every, we can all choose which projects to spend time and energy on. And uh, here are a few that I have. And I'll, I'll be talking a little bit about today. But the relevant changed. I, mean, I made this post back in yeah, December. And I really hadn't added anything new last year, I don't think. Pretty much. I would say Tetra maybe came last summer sometime. Tetra is probably the only coin that I added on my pay attention to list. Hmm. I mean, maybe since the pH products launch and stuff, which um, again, I don't even, it's not even about the tokens for them as much as just the, the TVL, the, the um, volume and stuff that they can unlock and the, you know, functionality and against advanced features for advanced users type of thing. Um, I think, you know, some of these, like CST, it's a, it's a stable coin, but I think it's amazing to have native stable coins that you can mint on chain, redeemable, all that stuff. So some of these are about tokens. Some of these are not about tokens. I have Wata NFTs. I'm, I famously, you know, not very interested in NFTs. However, yield bearing NFTs, I think are very interesting, like Watsas. Most of you probably don't know what Watsas are, but they were, uh, you could mint them during the, I think the launch phase of Icosa. I want to say last year. Last year's mint phase of Icosa, you could you could mint them, one time minting deal, and um, they accrue yield over time, and it's a game of chicken. There's like a twenty thousand twenty thousand left or something at this point. You burn them you, for Icosa. If you hang on to them, you get a bigger share in the pool and more Icosa. It's you know a game of chicken type of thing. Anyways. I um, just want to preface that again, if you got some token you want me to talk about and I don't talk about it, that's, that's why I don't talk about many tokens. I literally don't talk about many tokens on purpose. I just, I don't. So it's again, nothing against anyone. I, I, I want everyone out there to, to do well, but uh, this is, everyone can choose what they, what they like to talk about and stuff. Anyways, uh, lies beneath. Hex, E-Hex, PLS. You got the five. You got the, the five rings right there. I like it. All for the win. Yes, those. And hopefully ecosystem projects. Again, if you're interested in what I am most interested in, um, positive feedback loops for the blue chips. Obvious onboarding with zero sum qual without zero sum qualities, not with zero sum qualities. And stuff bringing value, bringing TBL, bringing money, bringing dollars into the Pulse Chain network. Now, I know there's plenty of tokens on there that do that. They're outside of these, but again, this is where I focus the majority of my attention. So I'll just quickly go through this. And I want to go in some different areas, though, because Power City launched. I definitely want to talk about that. So the blue chips, you know, talked about, goes without saying, uh, they all have their own uh, utility or not now or in the future. Billionaire is buying them. If you, if you don't take away anything else, billionaire, or, or let's say, let's say billionaire. It sounds like a person, right? Billion, billionaire on paper entity is buying them, I guess that sort of thing. So, and then Hedron, of course, oh, I'm so excited about Icosa Hedron V2 coming out. I think it's gonna be called Icosa Hedron because that's the shape. If you didn't know what Icosa Hedron is, it's a, was it 60, 20, yeah, 20 face, 20 face polyhedron. So Icosa Hedron, so Hedron uh, was the first project launched in Icosa and then the Watts NFTs you could burn from that. But uh, if you didn't know, it's a polyhedron shape with 20 faces. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So Hedron V2 coming out hopefully this year. I don't know why it wouldn't come out this year. I'm going to speculate it does. Uh, man, wouldn't that be exciting if it comes out like in the middle of the bull run or so? So excited for that and all the cross-chain capabilities. And who knows, man, like literally I've talked about Hex V2. If there ever is a Hex V2 or, you know, a native, native staking on both chains, if... Alex can pull that off from Hedron and you know, Richard or the hex devs or otherwise want to, if there ever is a hex V2 having the cross chain ability to use them both on both chains via contract bridge or however it works. Oh man, that, that would be cool. I don't, I don't expect it at all. Uh, but that would be super cool. So if not even, 
not even the hex. I just say hex because that's the biggest, most controversial thing is, oh my gosh, how are we going to, should there only be one hex? Should there be two hex? Well, all these problems that come with it, all these things that aren't problems that come with it, stuff too. Um, that's going to be interesting. Very cool. And of course, the Maximus DAO products. I mean, recently I had Pull Party, I had Gold Key on talking about Pull Party. And, um, you know, gosh, they just do all kinds of, they got gophers. If you like, you know, again, I'm not very, I'm not very interested in just monkey JPEGs, but gophers, fractional NFTs, ERC 404, from a tech perspective, pretty cool. I love the liquidity play strategies and, and, you know, all that stuff around that. So that's going to be fun to watch. Uh, it, it certainly seems like it. So, and again, they, they make derivatives and make bonds and stuff for hex and, um, you know, I'm not going to go through all the thing. I've, I literally did so much content on Maximus products and what they all mean and what they are. So feel free to check them out. Very cool stuff. Liquid loans, of course. Uh, a lot of people know about that and and your ability to not have to sell and you know and just uh, do the the right amount of collateral and ratios and you know um, all that stuff. Or I mean, there's again, there's I'm not going to go on all the strategies and all the stuff with that, but. Being able to take uh, borrow against your PLS and then Power City recently launched Earn, so now you can open vaults for your PulseX, which is super cool. So let's check out that real quick because there is a pretty high APR for vaults right now as well. That uh, hopefully it'll tell me without having to connect a wallet. Uh, it's not going to, is it? Da, da, da. Man, I wish it would. Okay, let me. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go to it right now because I don't want to. I don't. I'm not sure how much. What what's the interface look like for as far as uh, numbers and address and stuff go? But it's uh, essentially, yeah, you can borrow on your PulseX. It's actually got a really cool interface. I think I even like it better than the Liquid Loans interface, honestly. Like I was I was uh, checking it out yesterday and today and stuff, and I'm like, wow, this is it's pretty cool how you can adjust your collateral ratio. You can adjust uh, the stablecoin stuff. Uh, you can claim your earn. I think the earn APY is in the hundreds of percent right now as well. So very good. Definitely check that out. If you have Pulse X and you're like, oh, what can I do with my Pulse X? Well, nothing right now. I say nothing. Of course, there is, you know, there's different platforms and pH products and stuff that you can uh, do different plays with leverage. And uh, there's kind of like single side staking sort of on different platforms. Um, it doesn't, I haven't found any to earn a lot. Uh, I'll say, you know, unless you want to, you know, stake it for a very long period of time. The best thing I found to honestly, my my favorite thing to use again, not financial advice, but my favorite thing uh, that you can use that I, I use Pulse X for, or you know, I like to use Pulse X for, is just the yield farming and stuff uh, for ink. Now that everyone's paying attention to ink again, yeah, you can earn money yield uh, yield farming with ink and Pulse X or Pulse and Pulse X. Um, so there's different farms. Go to GoRealDefi.com, click on Exchange. <clears throat> Take it full sex, go to farms. First farm around 20%. That's been going up. I think that used to be like single digits at one point or close to it. Man. That's, and uh, yeah, all the farm numbers have been growing as you guys can see 148, 140%, 100% here on the stable coin stuff and the, the wrapped ETH. And then you got uh, the hex PLS pool and then you got the ink. PLS and the ink PLSX pool. So pretty cool. You can earn ink through that. Use a calculator, figure out how much thousand dollars in, you know, you can look at the rates, um, you know, all that stuff too. You know, the more you put in more potential, the rates go up and down, fluctuate, do your own research. I did a ton of content on this. If you're interested in content on this, go to go real DeFi under learn to earn. There's a lot of very handy tabs here. Click farming. That'll take you to the farming playlist and you can deep dive and binge and figure out everything about liquidity providing and farming and all that stuff too. So, um, but yeah, earn launched. So that's another, uh, that's something a lot of people have been waiting for and very interested in. And, you know, even outside of the, the watt and the different stuff you can do on power city pH products. Again, I've covered all this stuff, all these products I've talked about. If you just search on YouTube, RH max, and then whatever product you, you see here that you're interested in, Liquid Loans, Maximus, Power City, I probably have on each of these, I probably have 10, it, I would say close to 10 or more videos on each of these products or related to them. 
I'm, I feel pretty safe saying that at least 10 videos or more. A lot of them clips, some of them streams with the founders and otherwise. So if you really want to deep dive on page products, I have a ton of content with Dylan, but came on during founders week and stuff. We talked about it pretty cool. Uh, and then Tetra, I mean, Tetra is, is just this beast that I uh, found out about. Shout out to Red Squirrel. Red Squirrel, if this goes poorly, it's your fault. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, Red Squirrel was the one that tipped me off the Tetra and really got me interested in, in uh, DeFi automation and the potential there. And, you know, they have Omnis, uh, which launches one of their first projects they launched. So omnis.tetra.run. Drop the link in the chat. And it is where, uh, if I'm going to do limit orders and stuff, it makes it super easy. Again, if you learn how to use them, I'm going to go through the interface today, but type in RHMAX limit orders. You can see... Uh, different demos and stuff if you use an Omnis either on the ratio side or you just want to buy the dips for PLS or otherwise. Really, really cool products. So this is the first stage of what they're launching. And then they'll start launching the DeFi automation and, and staking and all that stuff too. So I'll drop the Tetra link. This is something I wrote up when I wrote this up, October. Yeah, October. So wrote this up, just my my thoughts and why I think it's good for Pulse Chain. And again, I'm interested in things that have a positive feedback loop for the blue chips, primarily. So that's the number one thing I look for. And I think if they're able to pull, you know, their ambitions off of Tetra, I think it'll not only be good for Pulse Chain, for volume, for all that, but the entire ecosystem, all the products in the ecosystem that you could build strategies around can be much more efficient, maybe make more money, save more money, save more time. Again, there's a video, go deep dive into it, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, there's uh, a lot of cool stuff for Pulse Chain with Tetra and Pulse Chain products. So you can automate hex staking, automate, you know, loan stuff, you can automate leverage. I mean, there's, you can automate, you know, arbitrage, all this stuff. So very interested in that. Very uh, excited for when they launch this. Man, there's a lot of people watching compared to, uh, compared to the bear market. I remember, I did like pretty much the same stream maybe six months ago or so and didn't have very many people, but now everyone's like, oh, crypto's a thing again. Cool. Well, welcome, welcome. If you're new, by the way, glad you're joining me today. So those are a few. Um, again, Max, you know, like Power City, PH Products, Tetra, Coast, of course. I really like Coast. Um, uh, you have the discount coin there too. You got the stable coin. If you look at GoPulse, you can see how much C locked. Uh, see, not unlocked. Whereas the even on the bridge, um, where can I go to see how much they've minted? I guess maybe this is one figure. I'll say four million sounds about right for for minted. And they also talk about the twenty five million dollars in USDL here too from Liquid Loans. Anyways, native stable coins very very good for ecosystem. And I did a ton of streams on stable coins and native stable coins and different ways to exit and onboard, offboard, all that stuff too. So very, very fun stuff. And let's see, let me finish up here. I'll get to the chat in just a minute. Again, if you just cause you talk about a coin, I'm, I'm, it doesn't mean I'm gonna talk about it. Um, to, so just don't have it. no expectations. Okay, I'm talking about the coins that uh, I'm most interested in because it's my prerogative, right? Just like everyone else has their their deal. So yeah, Go Pulse is amazing. Again, uh, Piteous is like the aggregator everyone uses for for swaps and trades and stuff. Hex Scout, super fantastic. Go to Go Real DeFi, click on um, Hex under under Buy. So you have Buy Crypto. Click on Hex because Hex Scout has the Change Now integration here. Um, but Hex Scout's amazing. I'm gonna stake. It's just got, you know. You got a whole guide it can has all these pretty charts and estimates and you know it's just really, really cool so if you're interested in hex staking creating new hex miners and stuff um amazing hex scout is just a it's one of the new products that just really really is doing some amazing stuff for hex and then uh so hex, hexfire.io hexfire is actually a new website so there was hexfire the original and there's a new one i believe just launched uh congrats to crispy man for a new website. So he's got uh, charts and hex supply. I mean, you got just amazing amount of data and information analytics and stuff here for uh, for hexfire.io. So pretty amazing to see that. It's another great hex tool. 
Um, let me go to chat while this is loading for a sec. All right. What's up, Susie Q? Welcome, welcome. Ink is a real deal. I mean, Richard himself suggested it could be leveraged on Pulse and Pulse X, so there may be something to it. Yeah, lower market cap, no OA, but there is, you know, a big, big, big uh, wallet buying it. Pretty cool. Crispy chicken. I may have crispy chicken tomorrow. We'll see. I do like crispy chicken. <laughs> You're talking about uh, crispy man. I think uh, somebody uh, refers to him as crispy bacon. Also like bacon. Bacon and chick Crispy bacon and chicken. Hmm. Now we got a combination. Anyway, hexfire.io. Amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, crispy man is is awesome. He's just uh, really providing a lot of value for community. Internet money. Uh, of course, if you want an alternative MetaMask, uh, you got internet money, uh, a couple other community favorites, uh, all that as well. I know Brother KG has put in a lot, of, a lot of work on that, him and the whole team out there. So again, what am I interested in? Positive feedback loops for the blue chips. I love Hex. I love Pulse Chain. I also like community projects. I'm talking about them. Um, you know, a very, very small uh, number of them. And a lot of these, you know, I've had people on the show and talk about a lot of other ones too. I just, yeah, they're just, you know, I, I he's, these are like kind of my top ones that I've, I feel like solidify uh, a lot of the, a lot of what I'm going to see in the future and what I'm going to be paying attention to and covering. So positive feedback loop, obvious onboarding without the zero sum qualities. And can you bring TV on the full stream? Is it obvious that that is uh, the goal and it's happening and, you can show it. Can you make DeFi, DeFi Llama number go up? Let's look at DeFi Llama. Man, almost 600 million locked. Amazing. Look at this chart. Anyone not like this chart? Oh, it just, what if it just never ends? What if it just keeps going? What if it goes to $500 trillion? It's amazing. It's like, yeah. I think at that point, if you if you believe that you may be in the euphoric state, sir or madam, you may be there. Um, amazing though. I mean, you see a few here again. Pulse X uh, leading the way probably will always lead the way. I imagine it's got uh, it's got quite a quite a leap on all the other protocols for now. But hey, uh, the competition for challenging it is more than welcome as far as bringing the TBO. That's that would be amazing. Like with loans, P2X, you got Fiat, you got Nine Inch. Uh, Fame, Daytona, Daytona, Pulse Rate, Impulse, Fox Swap. So now there's your current top 10 as far as TVL on Pulse Chain. And yeah, in six months from now, who knows what happens? Are these numbers a lot bigger? Three months from now, one month from now, you know, are there new products in here? Do they get, you know, up and down? Some of these TVLs maybe, you know, who, you know, they may, they may be off by a little bit anyways, all this stuff data. So pretty cool. I've got to compare chains while we're here or just chains. Check on where Pulse Chain is. Oh no, Manta went way up. It looks like and uh, bumped Pulse Chain down to number eleven. We were number ten yesterday. Manta, why? It's okay. It's not the. Uh, it's not how you start. It's how you finish, right? So, what, what if Pulse Chain finishes number one? And everyone's like, "Don't say it. Don't say number one. Don't say." It. What if it finishes number one or two? <laughs> That'd be amazing. I want to. Let's beat Tron. How about that? We can we can do ten billion, right? Is that something that you think is possible? We can do ten billion. We can do twenty billion. Fifty-four billion is a lot. Who knows? Ethereum, Ethereum keeps going up. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the numbers look like, but pretty amazing indeed. So, back to projects again. Here are some of the ones that I pay attention to a lot. We got. Uh, let's cover what's coming up in twenty twenty four. So some exciting stuff. So PulseX upgrades, who knows? Who knows if there's uh, benevolent well timing upgrades for PulseX, uh, single side staking, we have the DAO and the, you know, earning the farming tokens and, and uh, all that stuff. Uh, limit orders, maybe we get that. You know, I think Uniswap B4 is that they just got limit orders and stuff. Um, so, and maybe some stuff we don't know about. This is, this is I did a few streams recently uh, if you just type in RH Max 2024, you can see, or Richard Hart maybe in there too, 
I went through different Richard Hart tweets about stuff he's hinted about, or he's, he's written down before or whatever he's, he's tweeted about things a couple years ago that may be in the works. And a lot of them have happened already. A lot of them haven't, we don't know if they're going to happen or not, but I've covered it, covered it in detail. So type in RHMAX 2024 pulse chain or Richard Hart or something. I got, I got a lot more detail if you're interested in the maybe some stuff we don't know about yet. Some of the tricks up his sleeve, if you will. Hedron V2, I mentioned that earlier, uh, interoperability, multi-chain stuff, um, you know, staking on both chains, auctions, uh, you know, ARB opportunities, interesting stuff like that. Again, who knows? If there's ever Hex V2, you never know. That would be cool. That would uh, dispel all the Hex PX stuff. And again, Tetra, I uh, talked about that. Uh, yet to fully launch all of the product. However, um, some of the Earth, I guess, I guess it's the ecosystem at this point. The full ecosystem, but some of the product, or at least one product has launched it. Uh, Omnis, again, omnis.tetra.run. If you're interested in limit orders on Pulse Chain, uh, 